this is going to be a really, really interesting review. So before we get into this review, if you guys want to check out the Runaround to Hell I Come, you guys can. Links down in the description below. And for those of you guys that already have, you guys are kick-ass. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it. I think you all will enjoy it. And yeah, check it out. Now we're going to be reviewing another P.T. Anderson film. And this one, I'm going to be a little bit harsh. I'm going to be a little bit harsh. I can't help it. Uh, but I am going to praise it, you know, for what it is. And that is Inherit Vice. Inherit Vice. Inherit Vice is overall just a really strange film there's just something about inherit vice that's something's off about it throughout the whole movie i can't really explain it um you know the story itself i wasn't really a big fan of i really did like the setting i really did like the locations i enjoyed the characters i didn't really care too much for some of the situations and i felt like the movie was too blunt at times especially for what the story was going for uh, it's just, you know, I, I really did enjoy it in Boogie Nights. Uh, that's one thing about Paul Thomas Anderson that I really do enjoy is all of his films feel a little bit different. Uh, this one, in a way, I wouldn't say feels the most like Boogie Nights. I guess in terms of the tone, yes, uh, there's a lot of uh, pretty interesting scenes in this, which I don't mind. Uh, but for the story and the setting, yeah, it makes sense. But for what's going on and how it's being told, I don't know. It just something felt really off about Inherit Vice. Uh, I, I don't mean to go ahead and spoil my score uh, as soon as I talk about it, but uh, originally my score for this was going to be a 6 out of a 10. This is a movie that I've actually been sleeping on uh, and waiting to do a review because I want to make sure I give the right score for it. Uh, and that night, whenever I watched it, I was laying down and I was thinking, I was like, okay, you know, Inherit Vice was not that bad. Like it, it, it was more, it wasn't bad at all. It was, but it was more than okay. And I think the reason why it was more than okay was because of Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, his performance in this is awesome. I mean, I, re I really like Joaquin Phoenix in anything that he's in. Uh, he's just, and this is probably going to sound really uh, mainstream. This is going to sound really uh, probably stupid on my part. But my favorite performance by Joaquin Phoenix is Joker. Uh, Joker or, um, uh, what is it? Um uh, yeah, him and Mel Gibson and Signs are really cool as like a duo, but him or Johnny Cash, uh, yeah, Walk the Line, those are my two favorite performances. And the reason why I really like those performances is because he goes all out. And that's exactly what he does in this one. Now, don't really care too much for the character, uh, you know, especially for him being this private detective guy, you know, he's seems like a pretty bad one. I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Half the time, I didn't really even know what was going on in this film. That's just, that's the truth. That's the blunt truth. And that's going to be the worst that, that that's the worst that I'm going to say about this film. You know, the direction was fine. Cinematography was fine. Uh, you know, it's just, everything about the movie is fine. Uh, I think maybe the one thing that's off about the direction is I just didn't know what was going on half the time. This film didn't really make sense. Now, if this film didn't really mean to make sense, then okay, that's fine. That is completely fine. We, we'll pretend like the film didn't mean to make sense, but you still have all these plots that just popped up and there's just always something going on and they'll talk about something and then they'll focus on something else for a little bit longer. And then you go back to that one thing and you're like, wait a minute, what? 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 We just got past that, you know, and it's one. It just it didn't really fit, uh, especially the um, uh, the boat section or the uh, whatever the boat's name was or whatever that situation was. I don't know. It just it threw me off. I didn't really care too much for it. Uh, the way that they go back and forth with the storytelling that's probably the uh, my only downfall for the for the film. But it's a pretty big one because that was the part that especially the runtime. The runtime in this is I think it's like two hours and 30 something minutes, 20 something minutes. It's a long movie. And I feel like they could have crammed this movie into a two hour long film. I think they could have shaved 20 to 30 minutes off. And I think this would have helped the pacing a whole lot better. They could have got rid of some of the stuff in the film, a lot of, a lot of unnecessary stuff. And they could have just focused on the story. And yes, that would have made the film go even more fast paced. But I feel like for what this is, I feel like it would have worked. I wish I could give a better synopsis on the story. It's just like I said, I didn't I didn't really understand what was going on half the time. But it's a good film. I, I really enjoyed the performances. You Paul Thomas Anderson directs the hell of it out of his actors. And yeah, the performances are awesome. It's just the film itself, the stories, the way it's told. I don't know. It's not really for me. Anyway, I'm gonna give Inherit Vice a seven out of a ten. Definitely worth the watch if you're a fan of Paul Thomas Anderson and Walking Phoenix. But if you're looking just for a casual movie to watch and it's not one of those two things, 
I don't know, maybe stay clear of it, but it's still, I can't deny a good film. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. And if you guys want to check out The Run Around to Hell I Come, check the link down in the description below. You guys can all also follow me on Instagram. That's where I post all my gaming, movies, filmmaking stuff, writing stuff, personal stuff, professional stuff. So if you guys want to follow me on there, that'd be awesome. Hope you guys enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys next time.